The channel is blocked by bushes and mud banks, forcing fishing crews to wait for hours for a high tide to get out to sea. There are also reports of boats being grounded for days before the tide is high enough to let them off. Many of the fishermen say they are dissatisfied with the work being done to maintain the number 43 channel. They complained bitterly that they have had to change their propellers on their outboard engines frequently. Despite recent efforts to clear the channel by pumping water out to sea, the fishermen are calling for a long-term solution. Regional Chairman David Armagan says the situation will occur once rain is not falling continually. You're going to have siltation because once the mouth of the, um, the, the, the ocean, you find the water coming from your stumps and it closes in on both sides of the, uh, of the creek coming in here. And that's, uh, that's, why you, uh, that's one of the problems we have with all the uh, river mouths in Corbis here. Where once there's a dry period, you find that there is lots of sun. Meanwhile, the fishermen are of the view that the outfall channel and the siltation at the mouth of the channel where it meets the ocean should be dredged. Because people ask us sometimes, why do you, why do you wait until the rain comes before you start digging? But that's how it has to work. Because if you, if you dig before, then you got to do it back three weeks after again. And so this is what we've been constantly doing every time there's a rainy season. And uh, we find that there is need for uh, drainage. You have to dig the outfall. Now, what I, what I have noticed here today, too, is that the, the, even though we try to solve this problem here, with the, immediately outside the pool, we find that there's heavy siltation now happening way out in front, where this, uh, this creek here connects with the ocean. And there is, therein lies the problem, because outside there, it's not easy to have a machine to dig, because you got to probably put the machine on a part too. And that's pretty expensive too to put the machine in the part too. And then as I said, once the dry weather comes again, is 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 a constant thing, is every every couple of weeks. And I don't think anybody can afford to do that all the time. Meanwhile at the Port Morant market the price for fish has increased by about twenty five percent. One vendor attributed this to the reduction of the available fish caused by the extra time being spent waiting at the head of the number forty three outfall channel for the extra high tide. With no long-term answers from the government, the fishermen are wondering whether the government has turned its back on the industry. So the, 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 the best thing to do there is to keep running your boats out there. 